so extended periods of time, how do you stay focused? Well, the entire time has been blocked out just to give attention to him. So the entirety of the time is consistently letting, relinquishing my attention up to him. So let's say if I locked up today for six hours, um, I would come in in the morning in my heart. I would make a divide. This is not time to think about ministry. This is not time to think about uh, theologies. This is not time to think about prayer or praying for people or intercession or uh, my problems or my concerns. This is not time for responsibilities. This is time just to worship Him, just to give Him the attention, the kind of attention that He deserves. And by blocking that out, making that decision in your heart, already 90% of your problems are gone. And then you find that your heart will consistently try to go away from adoration. And once you notice it, you just simply turn it back. And you're going into the scriptures and you're enjoying him through the scriptures and going up in adoration. I use an illustration like this sometimes. I, I like this. When you grab a hold of a needle and you put it down in through the fabric, then you pull it back up through the fabric. This is how you sew into something. And so it is with how God sews into you. You cling to the needle by adoration. I worship you. You go down into the text by reading the scriptures. Then you pray the text back up to him. And this is how God sows you to him. And notice you never let go of that needle when you go in or you go up. It's all adoration that clings the soul to God. So I would encourage you, this is the key to longevity. This is the key to extended times. This is the key, adoration. I worship you. I give you all my attention and just linger right there and then follow the sweet movings of the Spirit. And these extended times of prayer, you're learning, and still to this day, I, I find I'm learning over and over again, how to follow the sweetness of his presence. He will guide here and move there. And just lingering with him and giving attention to the slight impressions of his spirit, he moves you through and you find this sweet dance and concert and movement with him. And so uh, all this to say, the key, I believe, is pulling away from everything else and giving him everything and just lingering there. And if you find yourself drifting, just come back. I worship you, Lord. Let adoration be what your, uh, let adoration be your clinging to him.